Oh wait, what? They're still going back around. Oh no! Earth just flew into the sun. <laughs> what is going on here? Our solar system has fallen apart. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman back with another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we're looking at something kind of interesting. I've built somewhat of a solar system here, and we've got all of the planets and a sun. Now, this is totally an accurate solar system. I mean, it's got, it's definitely to scale. We've got the sun here, of course, and Mercury, which is um, almost, almost half the size, maybe even a little bit more than half the size of the sun, is our first planet. Uh, and of course, after that, we have Venus, which is the exact same size as Mercury, followed by Earth, which is the exact same size as Venus, followed by Mars, which is the exact same size as Earth, and then Jupiter, which is also the exact same size and just as solid as well as uh, Mars. And then we got Saturn, of course, which is the exact same size as Jupiter, but this one has a special ring on it, so, uh, so it makes it feel special out there in the solar system. Oh, and then we, of course we have um, Uranus, which is the exact same size as Saturn. And then of course we have Neptune, which is the exact same size as Uranus. Um, and no, we don't have Pluto because Pluto is not a planet anymore. And and if it really if it really disappoints you, then here you go. Wait, wait, no. That actually, if we're gonna keep it to scale here, we're gonna keep it to scale. There. There's Pluto. Leave a like for Pluto, everyone. Pl Pluto needs those likes because uh, apparently, apparently they ask the the cosmologists don't don't like Pluto anymore. So you can leave a like for Pluto. So this is actually uh, what we're going to attempt to do here in this episode is I'm going to show you what what this is basically spawned from. I had an idea that I wanted to create two hovering orbs that could orbit around each other, and that's what this came out of. Or this came out of that idea. But then, uh, someone made a suggestion that I should try to do more than one orb orbiting around the planet here. And that's what this ended up coming out of. Um, so unfortunately I cannot get them to orbit in this, in this order here. I can only get them to or orbit around the center all at the same distance because of the way the sensors work. Um, they wouldn't be able to orbit a planet that far away, like, or the sun that far away. They all have to be the same distance from the sun. Alright, so let me start it off with the, this is my original conception, which was the Earth and a moon orbiting the Earth. And of course, this is also, uh, totally accurate to scale. You can see there, the moon is almost half the size of the Earth there. So what we have to do is, to get them to orbit, um, they're a little bit finicky, just kind of like a real orbit, like if, if you're going, if you get knocked out of your speed or your trajectory, then it's very easy for you to just kind of fly off into space. So right here, um, what you have to do is you just raise it up until those sensors, which are set to maximum, you see they turn off at a certain point, whoops, they turn off at a certain point, and once you get to that point, then all you have to do is turn them both on. There's a switch there, there's a switch there, and that's just going to activate them so that when you delete this block, which I recommend you just, uh, you start at one end and then you've got to lift up over the lift so the lift doesn't cancel you out, and then connect at the other end, and now you have entered orbit. So check this out. I'm going to go ahead and stand still over here. So what we have here is I've programmed this moon to always orbit the Earth at the same distance here, and it is actually tidally locked, which means that the same side of the moon is always facing the Earth. And that's actually how it is in real life, too. The, Earth, the moon is tidally locked to Earth, so you always see the same side of it. That's why they have that whole dark side of the moon kind of phrase that basically means it's the side of the moon that we don't see. Not that it's actually dark the whole time, because the sun does hit that side. But yeah, so this will just keep orbiting, and sometimes something random will happen and it'll lose its orbit, but for the most part, it's pretty stable. But I think if I, if, even if I do something as subtle as hitting it with a hammer, I, I missed. Even if I do something as subtle as hitting it with a hammer. Yep, there it goes. There it goes, I, oh, I should probably grab it. I should probably grab it, there we go. But yeah, you can watch, you see it just, it kind of just reaches escape velocity, and then just, just like a real, uh, like a real planet would, uh, just travel off on its own. 
There it goes. Bye, moon. And then that's when we'd all be screwed on Earth here. So what we're gonna try to do now is a friend of mine who goes by Game Bite, uh, he also has a YouTube channel, which I will link in the description. He's actually created some pretty cool stuff. Um, he, he gave me the awesome suggestion that I should try to make more than one moon hover the Earth, hover around the Earth. So I did it, and it turns out I, I could manage to get a, quite a few of them hovering. So then we thought it would be a good idea to actually make all the rest of the planets. And rather than make them all different sizes, which would be kind of hard to do because they're filled with a bunch of stuff, so you can't really make that small of a sphere here. And by the way, shout out to uh, Retrospects. He's the one that actually gave me these spheres. Because um, bu building spheres is just... It's just really annoying in this game. Like, it, to, to create a, uh, a sphere made out of, out of blocks at 90 degree angles is just not the most fun process. So he actually had these in his inventory, and he stopped by and just uh, dropped them off for me. So I was able to to build them, build, build all my stuff inside all the internal mechanisms and make it work. So what we're gonna try to do is actually really difficult and very finicky and can go horribly wrong very quickly. I'm gonna try to get as many of these planets to orbit the sun here as I can. Um, and I, I've, I've gotten up to six to be functional before. And I think I did seven for a little bit once, but I'm not really sure. Um, but anything more than that, there's just no room. No room at all. And Saturn here is just gonna be... S Saturn here is a diva queen with the, with the, with the ring and just taking up more space than it needs to be. So I don't know if we're gonna use Saturn, but we'll, we'll try to do something with these and see how, how many we can get to orbit the sun without them all flying off in different directions. Because that's the one thing, it's just a chain reaction. Once one of them, once one of them loses its direction, it just hits all the other ones, and it's like a domino effect, and everything goes flying off into literally all different directions. So let's go ahead and delete this. That way we, uh, we minimize the amount of objects tolling my system here. Okay, so, you're gonna see the process of how this works here. First, we're just gonna activate the sun. This is just basically the earth I had over there, but repainted. So, uh, thanks to Gamebyte for helping me repaint some of these, too. Alright, so the sun is now in the center of the solar system, ready to go. So now what I have to do is I have to make sure that I grab this and know which direction these sensors are going to be. So I know that the sensors are going to be facing that way. So I'm going to have to run over here and then face this way from the bottom of it. What I'll do is I'll place it, raise it up until the sensors are no longer active, hit the button, put the lift down, and now that is one planet that should be good. It should actually, in a little bit here, it'll get some more distance away from the sun, I hope. Please don't hit the sun, don't hit the sun. Oh boy, that's really close. That is really close. Alright, there we go. Now it's getting some distance. So these are designed so that they will always main- or they will eventually always maintain a certain distance. You can see it's getting farther away. Once that middle sensor deactivates, meaning it's not detecting the sun anymore, then, then some thrusters will activate to push it towards the sun just slightly. So, it's always looking for the edge of that radius. What's the, the distance there? Yeah, so 20 blocks away from the sun it should go. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and try to put, uh, Mercury Venus in here. So we know that the sensor's facing this way, so that means I'll rotate it one, two times. Now the sensor should be facing, oh, it should be centered here, this way. Alright, so put it up. Hit the switch. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until Mercury gets kind of close. That way we're minimizing the space in between, but it needs some time to pick up speed, so I'll let it go right now. All right. So that's two planets. Two planets successfully orbiting the sun. Now, Earth, the one everyone seems to care about. All right, we'll go ahead and put Earth right about here. Oh, that's a wait. No, no I, I think we can still do it. Uh oh, wait. No, 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 no. It's gonna hit. It's gonna hit. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. All right, that was close. That was close. But we managed to save it, I think. I told you guys this isn't very easy. You have to manage your sp your time and the space that you're using very closely. All right, and we'll let it go there. Oh boy. Maintain your distance. So one thing these planets don't have. No, no. What are you doing? Where are you going? I don't know why that happened. 
Sometimes it just randomly doesn't want to work, which is very, very frustrating. It's like you did all this time to set things up the correct way, and then half the time it works, or actually most of the time it works, but then half the time it just decides it doesn't want to. All right, let it go. All right, come on, please work. Please work. Nope. Nope. All right, I don't know why this isn't working now. Earth, come on, you're the one, you're the expert at this. You've been doing it really well for so long now. Where's my sensors at? Where are my sensors at? All right, there are the sensors. One, two. All right, there we go. All right, hopefully this one works now. Come on, Earth, just stay steady. Stay steady for me. Are we good? It looks like we're okay. I did set it a little bit farther away than I wanted to, and these ones actually look like they're about to rub. Actually, this one looks like it's about to lose its orbit. Oh, there it goes. See, why? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? They just did a chain reaction. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna do it. We're not even gonna pay too much attention about what order they're in. We're just gonna do it, because I, I just- I want to get at least six. The goal here for me is at least six. If we can do seven, that would be awesome. Oh, I didn't even put that close enough. My bad. If we can do seven, that'd be awesome. Let's see if we can do six, though. That is my minimum... My minimum goal to be happy with this video, is to get six planets rotating here. Alright, so I think we have two. I didn't even actually do a quality check to see if... they're actually rotating. Earth seems very far away. No, it's still detecting it. Okay. Alright, one, two... Now it should be this way, should be good. Alright, so we're under the sun. Go ahead and lift it up. Press the button. Let it go. Whoa, that's close. Alright, I think I've gotten worse at this since I first tried this. Alright, so now we are at Mars. Where all the good movies take place. Actually, most of the good movies take place on Earth, but, you know, everyone's used to Earth by now. Alright, so, now we've got four planets, I think. Until one of them randomly decides to escape orbit. Oh, no. Alright, those are gonna collide. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, put a stop to that before it's too late. Alright, come on. Come on, this is gonna be... It's gonna be tedious. I might regret setting this goal. Uh-oh. 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 No, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! Still good? You still good, Earth? Y'all good? I promise I can get six. I'm, I'm gonna promise you that much at least. You're watching me struggle get struggle to get four right now. But I've done this before. I swear. Alright. We have four. Alright, it looks like It looks like we have four. Let's just take a moment to appreciate what we're seeing right now. We've got four hovering spheres orbiting a central, larger sphere. Why is that one getting so close? Alright, we need the next one, we need the next one. What's this, Jupiter? I think we're at Jupiter now. You can see the detail in the colors was really, uh... We really spent a lot of time on getting that detail just spot on. Alright, I think the sensors are facing this way. Nope, I am totally wrong. Where are the sensors? Opposite way. One, two... Come on, there we go. Hit the button. Alright, is this five? Are we at five now? Are we all good? Everything... Everything in order? Alright, those planets seem to be getting closer. Alright, let's hurry up and get six. Um... Should I do Saturn? I don't know if I want to do Saturn. Saturn doesn't look like it would have enough space with the ring right now, so I'm just gonna go straight to Uranus. Alright, th this is where it gets tough. You really have to be quick. You really have to be quick with this to get into those gaps there. And I know at some point, oh no, what's going on here? That one's catching up really fast. This is gonna screw everything up. This is gonna screw everything up, isn't it? Alright, you know what, we're going- I don't even know which direction. Alright, so one, two. Alright, so now we should be good for this way. I have a feeling everything's gonna screw up as soon as I try to put this planet in. Alright, just waiting for it to turn white. There it is! Alright, go, 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 go! Oh, I'm on the wrong side! The sensors aren't even facing this way! Where are the sensors? Where are the sensors? Alright, the sensors are that way. Alright, so now we have to wait for the gap. 
to go right here. And it should turn white. There. Go, 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 go. Alright. Is this six? Do we have six successful? Yes! Six are going. Alright, now I'm gonna go for Neptune. I don't think I have any record of me actually doing seven. I thought I did seven, and I could have sworn I took a screenshot of it, but... I could not find the screenshot, so maybe I was lying to myself. But I can see a gap. I can see a gap right now. I'm gonna try to snipe it. Here we go. Up, up, up. Oh, I just deleted something, and I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> I'm doing this so horribly. Alright, is it gonna fall apart now? Please don't fall apart. There's like, there's enough gap for it too. Alright, please be the right sensor. Oh, I missed the sensors again. I'm gonna get the sensors right. Alright, the sensors are facing that way. Do I have enough room for it? Nope, 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 don't screw it up, don't screw it up. Alright, they're still going and there's enough room for the seventh one. I just, I'm screwing up the angle of the sensors, so the sensors should be facing this way now. Alright, just gotta wait for the right moment. There it is. Hit the button. Let go. Please stay in orbit. Stay in orbit. <gasps> I think we did it. I think we have seven planets rotating around the sun. I really don't think we can fit Saturn in there. Wait, is it seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, we have seven. This is uh, the, the, the first time it's been recorded on video or even picture, having seven planets rotating. This is me. I have, to, I have to get a thumbnail of this. How am I going to get a thumbnail? Before they all fall apart, because they will at random fall apart. I can't... <laughs> I, need a, I need a fly. Where's my drone? Quickly, quickly, quickly before it falls apart. Oh, where is it? I have so many things in here. There it is. All right. If any of you are wondering how I get my, uh, my panning shots, this is it. Check this out. Alright. I'm sure that there's a thumbnail in here somewhere. Uh-oh, I'm losing control. It's very hard to do this in first person since you have no, you have no concept of the direction that your, uh, your vehicle is. Alright, now we'll zoom in just a little bit. Alright, just need a good thumbnail. Nope, fix yourself, fix yourself, go back. Not too much. Alright, they are definitely rubbing. All those planets are rubbing. These are gonna fall apart at any second now. Yeah, they're all they're all about to fly fly apart. Uh-oh. That's not helping. Get back here. Alright, get out of here. Alright, are we still good? It looks like we're still good. I'm gonna try to get to the 8th planet. I, I never even thought this was possible, I just didn't think there was enough room. And plus Saturn has the ring on it, so that's not gonna be helping us at all. One, two, alright. I don't really see a gap that's big enough. I mean, there's a little bit on the either side of, uh, is that Venus? One, two... Um... Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. But look at all these ones. They're just waiting... They're just waiting to push each other out of the way here. Alright, well, let's see... What can I do? I think my sensors would be facing this way. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Here comes a change reaction. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna let it happen. Just watch what happens to these planets. Oh, boy. Alright, we only lost three of them, it looks like. But yeah, they're just gonna go off on their own and, uh... Never to be seen again. Well, there goes what uh, Uranus, Neptune, Jupiter, and no longer want to be part of our solar system, which is fine with me. That's fine with me. Let's have Saturn be a part of this because we actually haven't seen Saturn orbit yet, and Saturn looks really cool with the rings. Oh boy, I think Saturn's a little out of control. <laughs> Go home, Saturn. You're drunk. There we go, that should be better. I set him I set him up a little bit too far away. Alright, there we go. See, check out Saturn. Saturn looks really cool. I'm really proud of that ring around it. So what's your favorite planet? 
Let me know down in the comments what your favorite planet out of all of these are. I mean, including Neptune, you know, e even Pluto. Where'd Pluto go? There's Pluto, way over there. The little tiny speck is Pluto. Oh, Saturn didn't want to be part of the party. Saturn doesn't want to be part of the planet party. They don't want to be part of the planet party. They want to party with the planets. Part of a party, planet, planet party. Blah, 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 blah. All right, well, I'm looking for more ideas uh, for what to do in Scrap Mechanic because I've done, uh, this was just kind of like a random one. I was like, hey, how do I make a, or is it possible to make two things orbit each other, hovering, and just be completely automated? So as you can see, it's definitely possible. We actually got seven of them orbiting all at once. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please hit that like button. If anything, hit it for Pluto because Pluto has not been having a good time um, in, in our solar system lately. It's been kind of... Kind of excluded from all the fun. The, the planet party. Pluto's not part of the planet party anymore. Poor Pluto not being part of the planet party. But uh, yeah, so subscribe if you want to see more. Wait, what's happening? Mercury, or no, not Mercury. Venus is just very casually leaving. It's not even like flying out. It's just casually like, I'm so, oh, there it goes. Now it's speeding off. <laughs> it's like, I'm just gonna sneak out of here nice and slow. Let's make a big for- Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like if you did, leave- and please subscribe if you want to see more content like this. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time.